For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nico Mori. My topic today is why Xiaomi is so success nowadays. I've been a fan of Samsung products since my parents buy so many Samsung products like TV, AC, laptop, refrigerator, and their phone also Samsung. So since I first had cell phone, my phone also Samsung. I'm in love with their product. Let's be honest, they look great, they feel great, and they are so compact that you can simply ignore them. But then in 2017, I really want to try something new. I was locked in this ecosystem so many, so many years already, and I thought I have to move, move on. It's time to try something completely new, something that unfamiliar for me. While I was hanging out with my friend, I realized that he got a new phone that I asked him. Then I asked him what is his phone. Because it's really unfamiliar for me. Then he, he replied it was Xiaomi. I bought it two days after. I got it and after playing with it for a something uh, for sometimes the question that crossed my mind was how on earth does this company make money then they are selling such a great phone at with such a low price. After digging to the company I was shocked because the company was launched in 2010 and they have achieved an incredible success in such a short period of time. By 2014, they were the leading smartphone manufacturer by number of sales in China, beating everyone else. I mean, with the release of phone, some of the fire players in the industry almost were bankrupt because they simply couldn't stay competitive. Remember Nokia? They literally went from hero to zero, and and the and the Chinese company come up with and within five years surpass even Apple in the China China and become one of the major player in the global market. So let's take a look at Xiaomi business model and figure out how did they achieve such an incredible success in such in such a short period of time. We usually complain about how phone price are going up but we don't usually understand the hidden cost that phones require before they reach our hand company. Spend billion just to let you know that they exist or keep you aware of their latest product. But yet of the day we the we are the consumer have to pay for that. However, Xiaomi has found ways to sell its product at unbelievable low price. Instead of having a multi-billion dollar marketing budget, the company does every little advertising and, real, and relies on social media. To reduce the cost further, they don't spend a fortune opening up stores around the world and hiring thousands of people and only sell their products online directly to customer. By cutting out the middleman, the company could further lower their price and by implementing just it in time manufacturing strategy. The company doesn't need to maintain a huge inventory. The logic was simple. Build great phone for extremely affordable price that was Simply attract everyone and guess what? It's it's work. And make Xiaomi one of the major player in smartphone industry within few years. But they but this is just part of the story because the other part is Xiaomi sells their smartphone nearly at their cost of production and often doesn't make any profit. It doesn't mean Xiaomi is such a Mobile company that doesn't care about profit but rather they have a completely different business model. Instead of making a profit when they sell you the product, they would rather make a profit when you use the product by selling service ads and so on. So smartphones are like a trap to get you into the Xiaomi ecosystem. Because besides just selling you service, Xiaomi sells like everything in fact you are not familiar with company strategy. 
it seems like they are selling whatever comes into their mind from electronic scooters to rice cooker. It wouldn't be surprised if one day they start selling a Xiaomi car or jet. It makes seems like completely new business model, but it's not because companies like Google have had the exact business model since their inception. Google doesn't charge you when you use Gmail, Google Maps, Google Drive, but they they constantly sell you ads and other service like storage in Google Drive. Of course, their sell figures have been in decline recent years, but they are not the only one because the entire smartphone market is deteriorating, but, but their capital growth have, has been them in a global awareness. Thank you.